Hello, welcome to another toneless landscape oil painting demonstration with your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And today I'm bringing you something a little different. It is a painting on a rock. Now don't laugh. I'm not the first guy to paint on a rock. I probably won't be the last. Um, I remember reading uh, back when I first started painting I would follow the blog of Stapleton Kearns who's a very good painter and uh, was very generous on his blog um, in passing along a ton of good information uh, uh, some of it about uh, people like George Ness and this wasn't the maybe wasn't the first place I heard of George Ness but it wasn't uh, it was maybe the second or third so I, uh, I always will always owe Stapleton Kearns a uh, debt of gratitude. And if you haven't checked out his blog and you're a painter, check it out. Uh, he's not really keeping it active anymore, but he put so much on there uh, that uh, he basically just ran out of things to write about. And uh, he put everything he knew about painting on there and uh, uh, gave people like me a big leg up. So. Anyway, when he was uh, younger and starting out, he would do paintings on rocks and sell them quite cheaply. And uh, uh, at the Quarry Art Center, where I have my studio, um, we had an open day about a month ago. I'd say a little over, maybe a month and a half. And uh, one of the um, things they had there was um, a booth where uh, kids could do, uh, uh, could paint rocks. You know, they weren't doing paintings, they were just maybe painting the rock yellow and putting you know purple dots on it or whatever um however i took a tour through the uh the place and i came across the booth and i grabbed this rock and this rock actually is a really perfect rock it's it's got a great roundness to it not it's not too um circular it's not too oval it's perfect and this uh, painting went really quick in fact um this is sped up i don't know this is sped up like uh, 10, 10 times. I, I don't quote me on that. I don't remember. But my archive video was so short that I basically didn't even do a double speed. So that'll tell you how quick this thing went. Um, and it's really nice. As a matter of fact, I've given it to my wife uh, to put on her desk in her new office. And um, I would like to do more paintings on rocks. I got some more rocks. I dug them out of a box there. Most of them are a little smaller than this, which I don't like. They're also a little more oval uh, or oblong, which I don't like. I'm pretty picky, I have to say. And um, I may do some more paintings on rocks. I went looking for some bigger rocks. Uh, I would love to do, you know, say something 8x8 or... Uh, maybe you know four inches higher by eight inches wide or something like that but uh, the rocks that size are huge they're gigantic and uh, I would almost need to cut them and um, who knows maybe that's a project for the future but uh, uh, the one of the things that I kind of enjoyed was the rough texture of the rock It's not so dissimilar from the uh, some of the textures of the the boards I've been prepping lately so I was comfortable there um, the scene that I decided to paint is a scene I've painted many times, just this lone tree that was on a hill. I have painted it going back to 2011, and every now and again I just feel like painting it again. And uh, so I was thinking, well, that'd be good for a rock. It's simple. And I thought, you wouldn't want something too complicated on a rock, and uh, that's why I did this one. But I'm real happy with the way it turned out. I'm happy uh, to give it to my lovely wife and uh, she thinks it's cool in fact I think she thinks I invented painting on rocks which you know I didn't and uh, I'm sure not even Stapleton Kearns was the first guy to paint on a rock they're there you there it's a natural uh, jump to make it and if you haven't tried it give it a whirl now I did um, go over my rock with a uh, a good uh, quick pass of uh, burnt umber um, oil paint thinned with some um, archival uh, archival brand quick drying oil and uh, 
you know, it took a few days to dry and then I did my painting and then uh, that took a little while to dry and then you're gonna see there's a little more work in the finished product than you're actually seeing in the video and the reason for that is because I basically just to finish the uh, rock I just held it in my hand so I could turn it around and um, get a feeling for it in every direction quite difficult to videotape that so I didn't worry about it anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video something a little different and uh, all you new subscribers thank you so much for joining I really appreciate it uh, you can go to my website which is flashing across the screen and uh, I'll be back real soon before you know it before you even start missing me i'll be back and until then please take good care and stay out of trouble <laughs>